Bolivar and your Skyna Scoop starts right now. The tennis is looking for a few good men and women to try out beginning September 11 through September 19 at 4.30 p.m. at the tennis courts. You must have a physical and a rank when completed. Any other questions or concerns, see Coach Dietrich in room 316. Library Club first meeting is Tuesday, September 17. Please stop by the library if you have any questions. PCAT and MSQT is for all sophomores, selected freshmen, and juniors, Wednesday, October 16, 2009. Come by room 106 if you have any questions and pick up a study guide. Here are some homecoming spirit week dates and themes. Ticket for sale for the homecoming dance will begin on September 16, and prices begin at $50. Week two begins September 23rd, Prices will go up to $55. Now with Weather with Abe. Hi, I'm Abe and welcome to Weather with Abe. Today is Monday, September 16th. The highest today will be 95 with a low of 76. On Tuesday, September 17th, the highest will be 95 with a low of 75. That's it for today, Raiders. Catch us tomorrow for more weather updates. Here is your lunch menu. Today, we will have cheeseburgers, grilled cheese sandwiches, and chicken nuggets. There will also be PB&J boxes. For your size, there will be potato wedges, salad, carrots, peaches, and frozen fruit cup treats. To drink, there will be milk and juice. Have a nice lunch, readers. Here's your Martin fact of the day. Hey y'all, Martin here. Here's a question for y'all. What's the first thing when you think of when you see this puppy? It was a rhetorical question, but if it's the same answer as that one, uh, good try. Here's an apple. Now, here's what an, an elephant thinks when it sees us humans. That's right. It thinks of us the same way as we think of puppies. The reasons, it's a bit unknown, but it is believed that it's due to their uh, complex brain structure. The hippocampus It's basically like you know, an emotional switch. Uh, where it's trying to process emotions and stuff. The second reason is also believed uh, due to their similar brain connectivity as us humans. Personally, I'm, I'm cool with this. It, it makes good for uh, animals being friendly compilation. But that's it for this segment, Raiders. I'll see y'all later. Yep. And now for your ace segment. If you're interested in financial aid for college or career school, you're going to need to fill out the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA. It takes most people about 30 minutes to complete online, and the best part, it's 100% free. And it provides you with access to grants, loans, and work-study funds from the federal government. And many colleges and states use FAFSA information to provide their own college or state financial aid. Before you fill out the FAFSA, it's a good idea to create your FSA ID, a username and password that lets you electronically sign your FAFSA and gives you access to various websites related to federal student aid. And here's an important tip. If your parent is providing information on your FAFSA, he or she will need his or her own FSA ID. Visit studentaid.gov forward slash FSA ID for more information. Your FAFSA can be completed online at FAFSA.gov and help is provided throughout the online application process. You will need to fill out the FAFSA each year you are in school because your financial situation may change. Plus, you may be able to automatically transfer your tax data from the IRS, making the application even quicker to fill out. Each state and college or career school sets its own deadline for the FAFSA, so it's best to get it done early. Since some of the funds are available on a first-come, first-served basis, you don't want to miss out. Now that you know about the FAFSA, you might be asking, well, how much money will I get? Your college or career school will do the math. 
And there's a simple formula that they use. First, the college takes your cost of attendance, which is the total amount it will cost you to go to that school. Your cost of attendance will vary from school to school. Then, the college subtracts your expected family contribution, or EFC. Your EFC is based on information provided in your FAFSA and will not change based on the school you attend. However, the EFC is not necessarily the amount of money you will have to pay. Basically, your cost of attendance minus your EFC equals your financial need. Your college uses your financial need and other information to determine how much financial aid you can receive. See? Pretty simple. If you have questions or need more information, please visit studentaid.gov. That's all for today, Raiders. Be sure to catch all things Skyline by following us at Skyline Broadcasting. And to make sure you never miss an episode, tisk SKYN to 81010. I'm Edith Guevara, and with everyone here at Skynet, we'll catch you all next time. It's so